Changing subjects here, it's a, a, a quite a specific question that just came in. Um, so, so Carla, have you? So, so the question is, what is your experience filing in Europe before the U.S.? Um, obviously, every product is different, but have you have have you had any experience where you decided let's be in Europe for some reason before the U.S. and and uh, how did that go? Yeah, and it really depends. The reason why you would go there depends, I suppose, on what the what the product is, what the market, you know, looks like in one versus the other, or or perhaps um, maybe there are things that you need to address um, specifically for FDA that may not necessarily be required for EMA uh, that might say, okay, this package is ready to be filed with EMA. Um, first and then we'll you know whilst we're developing the additional information we we require with fda um and that you know has occurred uh in the past and has been successful where uh, registration has gone in through um a decentralized procedure in europe and um a marketing author authorization was obtained for the initial member states and then additional member states were added um throughout the um you know within, within the first five years and whilst the information was still being developed for a submission to the us um so it it's it's possible as in you know and it may not necessarily be the your uh, my, um ema either sometimes it could be a different region so mm -hmm. um it all depends i guess on on what your regulatory needs are per body in terms of what mm -hmm. the expectations are per body, any differences that may have occurred that, you know, will allow you to have a, a package that is more um, readily available for a specific region. Because one of the biggest challenges I think um, we face when we're trying to have global programs is having that harmony. You know, you, you're never going to get a program or a clinical development, uh, a drug development program that will 100% meet every regulator's uh, expectations there will always always be some differences and sometimes you have to um see what you know go through it in a staggered approach as opposed to a blank at all because it's not always possible um but yeah i've had that experience in the past it was successful and it continued i mean it worked well at that time to Very go to good. europe first yeah and and you know what 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 you're saying is use use the experience and the the uh, additional time and data from Europe to to help perhaps in the US or maybe vice versa who knows so that's good